It's Monday evening, 7.30 local time. My name is Juan Brown with a quick update on the North Fire Complex West in Butte County. I'm out of town right now, but some questions have come up as to what's going on with the fire today and specifically what's going on with the air attack. I just listened to the 6 p.m. briefing from CAL FIRE and the United States Forest Service in Butte County. The firefighters got a very lucky break with the weather today. Conditions were just about as perfect as you can ex hope for, for for the current situation. The big winds did not happen today as was potentially forecast. Uh, the weather forecasters were able to launch a weather balloon near the uh, fire site there in Butte County, sent it up, and they found that there was a good uh, inversion la layer at 4,000 feet, just enough to allow in this evening, the visibility to lift just enough to give the required minimum three miles visibility for the air attack to commence on, on this fire without adding a whole bunch of wind to the fire. So with that, they were able to do an air attack on uh, what I believe to be two major flanks of the fire. Let me show you on the map here what's going on. Again, back here on our Plumas National Forest map, green areas representing federal lands, non-green areas represent not federal lands, basically Cal Fire. Cal Fire is working this end of the fire. Here is Lake Oroville, here's Bullard's Bar Reservoir, here's Sly Creek, here's Forbes Town, here is um, Bucks, or correction, Little Grass Valley Reservoir, here is Bucks Lake, and here is Quincy. So you guys know what the fire perimeter basically is throughout this area, and so a couple things are going on. First off, this end of the fire, firefighters were concerned about these the winds coming up and blowing it out and potentially heading this fire back towards Paradise, back down through the dozer lines that were created during the campfire in 2018 for Paradise. This line has held well today. And in extension to this direct line or this existing line around this end of the fire, they've added a secondary and a tertiary line of defense to prevent this fire from coming across the North Fork, Feather River Canyon and heading back towards Paradise. So they're building three lines of defenses along this line here. This line down here is the one I was concerned about heading in potentially into Forbes Town Challenge and um, was it Strawberry. So the winds just, or the visibility just picked up enough to where they were able to get some air tanker activity here on the South Fork, Feather River, and Long Creek area right along in here. Because this is steep, rugged terrain with Forest Service roads that are in really poor shape in order to make a fire break. And so they're able to get some retardant lines in here to back up the existing containment lines they're trying to build in this rugged terrain to prevent this fire from heading this way towards uh, Strawberry Valley, uh, Challenge, and Forbes Town. So the retardant activity that's going on in this line may very well save those towns. CAL FIRE is very happy with the um, amount of containment that they've got along this line, along Loafers Ravine, keeping it out of Kelly Ridge. So that's the information that I have now. If you see something different, let me know in the comment section below. I'm out of town. I'm in Dallas, Texas right now. Stay tuned. Every evening at 6 p.m., CAL FIRE and the Forest Service are putting on um, video conferences live on Facebook at 6 p.m. local time. I'm finding them on Orville News Live. See you here. If something changes, I'll let you know. Stay vigilant.